So what can your family and friends actually send you while you're at basic training? battle base and welcome back to my channel if you are new i am andrea shaban and i'm currently a specialist in the united states army i know a lot of you are leaving for basic training soon good luck and congratulations by the way so naturally a lot of you had questions about what your families can and can't send you while you're in basic training the truth is you can't send much but i'm going to go over a few things that you can and a few things that you shouldn't send someone while they're at basic training like this video if you find it helpful subscribe comment down below hashtag battle bay nation and let's get into this video i'm sure you know this already but sending letters to your soldiers is something that you can do and it's actually highly recommended because getting those letters while you are at basic training is just it just makes you feel good it's a morale booster and honestly it just feels good to know that you're not being forgotten about and you're kind of keeping up with your family and friends so to speak so you're not kind of out of the loop and you get those little updates and so that's pretty nice you can send money in those letters you can send pictures just make sure you're not sending a ton of photos at one time and also make sure your pictures are appropriate okay because i don't know if they still do it like this but i know when i went to basic the drill sergeants would look at the pictures first and i did have a battle buddy who had his girlfriend send him i don't know if he had her send it or she just tried to surprise him but it was a very pretty photo in in, in his in his letter so just make sure they're appropriate. I personally loved getting my sons and my little sister's letters and artwork and my grandmother would write me all the time. She definitely made it a point to let me know I was not being forgotten about. Stamps and envelopes also come in handy so definitely send those as well because if you run out you have to wait until you get a run to the PX to buy more and that's if they didn't run out. You can also send some personal hygiene and grooming items. So deodorant, lotion, shampoo, conditioner, shaving cream, facial wash, stuff like that. But just keep in mind that if whatever you are sending is non-scented, and if they don't have a non-scented version, make sure you're sending the very basic of scents, very understated. So like the powder version of the Dove deodorant. You wanna make sure everything is non-scented or the very basic original scent. For males, make sure your family are sending you razors, shaving cream, shaving gels, non-scented of course if you need them because you're gonna have about two to three times to visit the PX all while you're at basic. And if you run out, you're still gonna be required to shave every single day. So if you're running out of razors or your razors are getting dull, you're still gonna be required to shave every single day. So may, just make sure you have plenty of those and have your family send some because I'm sure you guys find those all the time gets expensive. And for my females, your family can send you tampons, pads, and anything else that you may need for your menstrual cycle. Not the little sprays or the little suppositories and stuff like that, just the basics of basics of things, okay guys? So tampons, pads, when I went to basic, there was a girl using one of those little cups. So stuff like that you can definitely use. Now, I don't know if it's still like this, but back then when I went to basic training, when you ran out of jail and you went to the PX to restock, the only thing they had was that Tresemme. I talked about this in one of my other videos. If you have hair texture like mine, that Tresemme is not gonna work for you. It's not gonna hold anything down. That's like, a conditioner okay it's not gonna hold anything down so your families can send you hair products as well that work for your hair type like gels combs brushes stuff like that and now for the contraband so magazines newspapers books excluding your religious content you cannot send and if you do it's going to be a waste of time and money because your soldier isn't going to get it <laughs> Food is another one that is not allowed. So no type of food should be being sent to basic training. No kind of candy should be being sent to basic training. And no kind of drinks or anything like that, including water, should not be being sent to basic training, okay? It's contraband, it's contraband. You can't have it, okay? It's contraband. When I was in basic, I did have a few people that received cough dropped in the mail and the drill sergeants actually let them keep it because they were sugar free and stuff like that. So if you're receiving cough drops, it's not a guarantee that you're going to get to keep them, but I'm gonna say to hire the chance of getting to keep them, make sure they're sugar free, okay? They're the nasty ones. And they probably won't let you keep them because again, this is technically, they would say this is a medication because they do give these things to you at 
sick call. So they may confiscate them if you receive cough drops in the mail and throw them in the trash or do whatever they do with all the stuff that they confiscate and tell you to go to sick call and get some. And what they have at sick call is the nastiest of nastiest cough drops that you'll ever get, but we still cherish them with our lives because it was the closest thing to candy that we had in basic training. So we proudly and gladly went to sick call to get them. So yes. It's maybe, the cough drops is a maybe. We'll put that on a maybe list. So medications is also something you cannot send your soldiers while they're at basic training, okay? So over-the-counter prescription medications, any of that type of stuff, no, you cannot send. Now, if it's a serious medication and you really need to get it, then maybe. I'm pretty sure your drill sergeant will let you get it, but chances are, if you made it past MEPS into basic training, you shouldn't be on any life-saving medications. And if it's something like for minor pain relief, we have Motrin at Sitcom. So you can go to Sitcom and get that. And I don't think it's all medication that you have to give to the drill sergeant. I think it depends on what kind of medication it is. Comment down below, let me know if they still do it like that because I know I was able to have like my naproxen and my Motrin with me in the bay um so when i would wake up in the morning and i'm just having aches and pains and stuff like that i can take it real quick do they still do it like that or do you have to give all your medication now to the drills the last thing i wanted to leave you with is while you're at basic training you're probably going to have a battle buddy or two who don't have any family who's not receiving letters who's not receiving anything and i think it's messed up because personally i think everybody should have someone so maybe if you see this you can write your family and let them know like hey i have this friend here who don't really have anyone like that they're not receiving any letters can you write them a letter with some motivational words and words of encouragement i know to some people that may be corny or that may sound corny but in all honesty i don't think it's corny because even though it's not someone personal that you know personally sending you a letter it's still nice to know that someone took time out of their day to write you a letter they put your name on this letter to try to uplift and motivate you and they sent that out to you so i still think that's amazing that people actually do that so if you do see something like that happening go ahead and try to be that person for someone the same goes for if you just notice your battle buddies are running out of stuff and you got another week or two before you're going to make it to the px you know if you're riding home and you're putting items in your care package go ahead and throw in like hey can you throw an extra deodorant in there can you throw an extra pack of razors in there can you throw an extra box of tampons in there because my battle buddy really needs it help each other out look out for your battle buddies because that mentality of these are my brothers and sisters this is where it really starts to set in and those bonds that you make at basic and that mission mentality where it's them against us and i will never leave a fallen comrade this is where you really really start to understand it for the very first time you are going to be bickering and you're going to fight blah 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 that is what brothers and sisters do but these are people that you are always going to remember and these are people that you may run into again and you have to take care of each other and it starts with the small things so that was some food for thought that i wanted to leave you guys with if you have any questions don't forget to leave them down in a comment section and i will see you guys in my next video bye for the record i'm done trying to make y'all comfortable for the record you ain't trying to grow then it's done for you for the record lab on me going all the way